Well, I, this is a, um, it's a great day for these ladies, I think, more than anybody else, and uh, maybe a great day for people uh, who are just like these ladies statewide. Uh, Solace, of course, is a special group. They are a group of ladies who have banded together, um, and we now have gentlemen in Solace, okay? That's uh, not good, but it's appropriate that we would include, because we didn't have anybody in this, on this line. But they're holding pictures of, uh, of family members that they have lost. Um, take a look at, uh, at my friend here. Uh, she tells a story of her son, who was uh, really uh, headed for all state in football and uh, lost his life to drugs. These are very tough ladies um, with great hearts. Uh, Lisa, I mean, it's a great day for you because you didn't know if we'd ever get here, did you? You had a lot of promises, a lot of talk, nothing ever gets done. And, um, you know, I think, uh, of course, our sponsors, uh, Dr. Johnson, who uh, may be the reason he was elected uh, to the legislature. You never know if the good Lord sent him here to, um, to lead the way on this. I give a lot of credit to Representative Burke for the simple reason that he has been involved in this for a very long time. No pride of authorship. Ronald Reagan used to have that great, uh, that great plaque that said, uh, if you don't worry about who gets the credit, it's amazing how much you can get done. Appreciate your commitment, uh, Representative Burke, and the fact that uh, you've shared in, in some of the, um, of the accomplishment here. Uh, obviously, uh, Lynn Watchman, uh, he's the chairman of the committee and uh, critical in terms of fashioning this legislation and helping the movement not just through the House but, the, but also to get it through the Senate. Um, been very helpful to me in, in many different ways and appreciate his very strong leadership on this issue. Jimmy Stewart was there uh, right after Election Day when we had a, a, a wonderful meeting with these ladies and heard so many personal stories of the tragedy that, uh, that went on and frankly went on in many ways unabated. So these fine gentlemen have put together uh, a bill that is going to make uh, a significant difference. Just a couple of the numbers here. In Ohio, um, we are using nine times the amount of opiates that, that were in practice in medicine in 1997. A 900% increase in in the amount of prescriptions, doctors that uh, have been uh, have been prescribed since 1997. Since 2000, a significant increase, unfortunately, in overdose deaths, and that doesn't take into account the disabilities that uh, are not always calculated in these statistics. In Southeast Ohio, the, the number of cro uh, property crimes has increased at the same rate as the use of opiates. Now, sheriffs, uh, the law enforcement folks who have been a very important part, the judiciary, particularly in Scioto County, uh, very compelling testimony about their own family members. They said enough is enough, and they will tell you, as will Orman Hall, will tell you that as this opiate problem has increased uh, with its lethality, we see more people on uh, going through the Bureau of Workers' Comp. And Steve Bureau here? Steve, come on up here as well. Uh, whether it's Workers' Comp, whether it's Medicaid, these, uh, this has a devastating impact uh, on not just the lives of the people directly involved, but on all Ohioans. And um, the statistics are amazing. As you know, Carol, here's one for you. 9.7 million doses of prescription drugs prescribed in 2010 for a population of 79,000. 9.7 million prescriptions for 79,000 people. I think that kind of tells the story. Um, We have been meeting, Betty Montgomery joined this effort. I asked her if she could coordinate all activity between the governor's office, the courts, the attorney general's office, Mike DeWine, uh, and, uh, and the, uh, the uh, attorneys that he's brought in. Is, is his attorney here today, his special? Steve 
Come on up here, guys. Come on, these are these guys are very important. Um, gave up some nice, secure jobs that they had in their county to come up and join this war. They deserve uh, a lot of credit, subjugating their uh, their own personal interest to do something good for people in Southern Ohio, but it's not just a Southern Ohio problem, it's a problem throughout the state. Betty, who's agreed to come in here as the former Attorney General uh, to help us to coordinate all of this activity. Steve Buer, who was involved in the raid in uh, Southern Ohio on uh, the doctor's office whose license has been suspended. Uh, excellent work. We have just found that the DEA has just suspended the licenses of um, one clinic and three other, three other physicians. Ladies, I think we're, we're getting somewhere. Yes, we are. Huh? I think we're getting somewhere. I mean, it's, it's not, you know, thank goodness that we've engaged the enemy now. And frankly, the credit is for all these people who were here, and this is really what public service is, is really all about, because we are helping families. And you know the, the uh, not just the pain that you have, but those kids who are aware of the fact that uh, their mothers or their fathers are selling drugs. Uh, Sheriff, I remember the picture that I was presented of the, I think it was the mom in the emergency room dealing drugs with the kids sitting at the foot of the bed. These are just tragic, terrible stories. And you can see some of the drugs that are up here. Uh, I want to give a lot of credit to Colonel Bourne and Colonel Charles, the Highway Patrol. They're now engaging in a major interdiction program in our state. We got a lot, we, we have to really engage even more in the war on drugs in this state. I just had an opportunity to meet with the SWAT team in the back, and um, we are, we really are a main artery for the transport of drugs, not just through Ohio, but through Ohio to, not just in Ohio, but through Ohio to other places. Got to do more to combat, combat all of that, but today is really about opiates, prescription drugs, give more power to the medical board. They will be held accountable. They will be held accountable for how they use these tools. More power to the pharmacy board, more coordination, more understanding of what's going on, limiting the ability of physicians to prescribe uh, massive amounts of opiates. I appreciate the medical community, the OSMA's uh, willingness to accept that amendment. You know, we don't want to disrupt anybody's good treatment. We don't want to shut down pain clinics that are treating the legitimate needs of people. You know, I don't think anybody that doesn't have, that doesn't have uh, this chronic pain doesn't understand the problem. But I also know that if you have chronic pain, the quicker you get off these drugs, the better off you are, because you can become an addict just as easily. But for those that trap people, it's a nightmare, and I think these tools are being being given to the authorities, and we are not going to let up, ladies. We are going to keep going to keep working on this. Uh, Orman Hall has done a phenomenal job. Uh, RSC, drew, we drew down in a, like a, the blink of an eye. Let's see if I can find those numbers because this was really this was really significant to be able to um, pull down 33 million dollars that had never been drawn down before for treatment, vocational services to get these folks back to work because I know down at the treatment facility in Scioto County you have a former addict who is uh, helping with counseling. Is she still there, Lisa? Doing a great, is she up here today? She's not here but she was able to get up and get on her feet and she's hopeful and, and things are working in the right direction. Coordinating with Kentucky, West Virginia, Tennessee, uh, that's going on, but we're going to have to stay on it. Betty, thank you for being willing to be a point person on this, coordinate. Tracy Inohar has worked very hard on this program to make sure that we are well coordinated. The patrol, I mean, everybody really, frankly, deserves the credit. Let me now uh, turn this uh, podium over to Dr. Johnson. Um, he'll outline a little bit as how he sees the tools along with uh, Representative Burke, and um, and I think we ought to hear from Lynn Watchman a little bit from Jimmy Stewart while we're at it. And then